How did I get here? Don't be afraid. I'm probably just lost. If you could just point me to the right direction, I'll, I'll just be on my way. But that's why you're here. You've lost your way. Please, sit down. Hey, we're not gonna bite you. Not unless you're corn. Well, that sounds very reassuring. <laughs> I don't blame you if you don't sit down now. Honey, have a seat. Tell us all about it. What do you want me to tell you? You can tell us anything you want to tell us. I don't understand. <laughs> Neither did I when I first got here. But I soon realized how much I wanted to go back. I left my husband 20 years ago. Not a day goes by that I... I don't wish I, I could see him. Guilt is a chain. <laughs> Until you remove every link, you can only go so far. Just like pride. Pride will blind you to the truth, just like it did for me. Nothing is certain. But give it a set large enough, certainty becomes guaranteed, eventually. Uh, give it a set large enough, certainty becomes guaranteed, eventually that is. Listen, it's all a matter of numbers and I can prove it to you, okay? So say you want to predict the run of 10 coin flips falling heads up in a row. It seems highly unlikely, like uh, chances of uh, less than one in a thousand. But if you throw a thousand coins in a row, you are bound to hit that. What everybody needs to understand is that your knowledge is limited to your own experience, an experience that's often far from reality. So what might seem impossible for you is actually guaranteed in certainty. Eventually, that is. <laughs> Thank you, Professor Carter. You know, last time we talked like that, I was asleep. Look, I know this seems crazy to you. That's because it is. But none of that matters. The only thing that matters is what you do now that you're here. We all have things that we dwell on. The one thing we can't allow to happen is for those things to hold us back. I was a medic in Iraq. Now I can choose to see the faces of the soldiers I was able to save, or I can choose to see the faces of those I wasn't able to save, the ones I couldn't return to their parents. Uncertainty is humbling. True humility allows you to take the plank off your own eyes as opposed to just removing the speck from the eyes of your neighbor or your parents. You don't know my parents. I'm not like any of you. You don't know my story. My real parents never wanted me. That's no better than my adoptive parents taking me in to feel good about themselves. Why do you think you're better off without them? It was never about me. It was always about them. And as soon as they had their own kid, they couldn't give two shits about me. How dare you? Love may not be perfect, but I would give anything for an imperfect love. At least you had someone. There wasn't a hand to help me from the ledge. There's no one to pull us up from the ledge now either. There never was. And there never will be. So forget about your fairy tale, okay? Because love is dead. It's not a fairy tale. Love can be real. You want to know what's real? You want to know what's real? Listen to Chris and his fucking numbers. Just doing my job. All we are is what we are now. Flawed, guilty, trapped by our own regret. Constantly going over the same stuff every single day, over and over. Consumed by a darkness. A darkness you possess too. Enjoy your fucking corn can't do a damn thing about it. Rusty, Sharon, have you forgotten why we're here? 
We're here to help her. Come on, guys. I'm sorry. Oh. Rusty. Come on, man. Whatever you say, Douglas. Renee, why don't you get us some more firewood? It's in the barn over there. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt. You okay? No. We're stuck here. We came here a long time ago. We tried to move on, but we can't. Why not? We can't let her go. Our daughter. <laughs> Sixteen years ago, we were in a car accident. We had to move on without her. No parent didn't have to deal with leaving behind their two-year-old child. There's no manual, no support, no, no guide for a parent to handle this. <laughs> but if you're on the other side... All we could do was hope that she found someone to love her. It was Renee. After your grandmother. <laughs> Did you leave the world better when you left? I hope so. No. Then your faith was good for something. It helped me. You helped me also. I think you know why you've come here now. You're welcome to stay a little while longer, but in the morning, I think it's time you moved on. I'll see you around. <laughs> 